Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. My name is Usman Chaudhary and uh, today in this video I am going to show you how you can make uh, this tapered thread in SolidWorks by uh, using this PDF drawing. So keep watching this video till end and uh, in the next video I will um, show you how you can make uh, the drawing out of this tapered um, thread part in SolidWorks. Okay, let's start. Uh, first of all, start uh, from new part and uh, then as you can see um, all these dimensions are in inches so uh, first of all we have to switch our uh, solidworks environment from millimeters to inches for that click on this mmgs button here and then from here select ips inch pound second and uh, then click on uh, right plane and sketch on it First of all, we have to draw a sketch like this and uh, I'm going to use uh, um, revolved boss base command. So for that, first of all, I have to draw the center line like this, then uh, normal line like this. Now, um, I have to add the dimensions uh, of this sketch so overall or total length is 4 inch so length uh, from here to here is 4 inch then uh, we have this 1.4 and this length is 2.6 inches .6. Now uh, we have to add the diameters, uh, all these diameters. So uh, for that, this diameter is 1.7 inches and this diameter is 1.3 inch. So uh, once again going to SolidWorks, this diameter is 1.7 inch and this diameter. 3 inch now uh, adding the diameter of the board uh, which is if you can see here 0 0.6 inch so the diameter of the board is 0 0.6 inch now uh, press and hold control key from your keyboard then select this origin and this point and make them vertically aligned after that, uh, we have also to add this diameter 2.2 inch. 2.2 inch. So uh, now our sketch is fully defined. Uh, go to features tab and from here select revolved boss base command and uh, press OK button. Now we have to add the fillet, uh, this fillet and this fillet. So, um, as you can see, fillet ready is 0 0.1 inch. Now, uh, click on fillet command here and uh, type here 0 0.1 inch and press OK button. Now, uh, click on this face and then sketch on it. Uh, basically, uh, now I'm going to make uh, the threads, these threads. So, for that, uh, first of all, I have to make uh, a circle here like this so click on uh, this uh, on this circle and then select convert entities and then press this button to save and exit from sketch mode now click on this curves button here uh, in the features tab and from here select helix and spiral then select this circle so uh, now we have to put the details of the um, uh, threads so for that uh, we have to see uh, what we have uh, the parameters of the threads so if you can see this detailed uh, b so now um, if you can see this distance from here from here up to here is 0 0.2 uh, which means that this is this is the uh, pitch of the thread and uh, then we have uh, this total length uh, 
inches so uh, we have pitch and height of the thread so for that we have to um, switch the defined by option from pitch and revolution to height and pitch so as our height is 2.6 inches so uh, we should write 3 inch here and uh, pitch is 0 0.2 now if you can see uh, these threads are straight but we want um, taper helix so for that if you can see here uh, taper helix check this option and uh, here is the taper angle now go to the um, drawing and uh, see here we have the 4.42 degree angle of the helix now type here 4.42 4.42 and uh, it is going up outward so uncheck this option taper outward and now press ok button now what we have to do um, we have to find a plane um, we have to find a plane this plane so if you can see top plane so now sketch on top plane and then press ctrl plus 8 key now we have to draw uh, this sketch this triangular type or shape sketch so use line command draw uh, the sketch like this select this line and this line make them parallel also select this line and this line and make them collinear now um, draw a center line and start it from this midpoint now define the angle between this line and this line which is 30 degree then define the angle between these two lines which is also 30 degree now define this length and this height or depth of the thread so uh, this length is 1.5 inch and this height is 0 0.08 inch so define them 0 0.15 inch rearrange the sketch um, now define this height which is 0 0.08 inch now draw uh, the point here select this point and select helix and make them pierce now select this midpoint and this point and make them coincident so our sketch is now fully defined save and exit from sketch mode then uh, click on the swept cut command in the features manager so first of all select this profile and then as a path select this helix and press ok button now uh, it will ask you two bodies to keep body one and press ok button now click on this helix and hide it so this is how we can make the taper threads in solidworks i hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video thanks for watching and sparing time and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more videos like this